So when we've got a multi-page Google Doc, it's really good sometimes to have a way to navigate your way easily around that document. Now using the headings or the styles palette in Google Docs as well as bookmarks can help you achieve that along with the document outline as well. But you can also use those to provide links to people so that they can click and go directly to a particular part in a document. So this might be useful for something like you've got a multi-page document for your students. It might be a five-page document for example and for some reason you want them to go directly to page three like it might be a reminder about something in that document. There is a way that you can do that and I'll show you that as well right now. All right, so in my Google Doc, I'm going to start with using headings as a way to navigate around the document and I'm going to use that in conjunction with the document outline. So a couple of things to set up uh, ahead of time. If you don't see this icon here for the show document outline, what you'll need to do is to come up to the view menu and make sure that the show document outline is ticked. We're going to use the paragraph formatting which is, and so from this menu here, we've got the list of different styles that we can apply. Now, for some reason, if you don't see that, you can come up to format and use paragraph styles here and the same options are there as well. So while you've got your cursor on that line, go ahead and where it says at the moment, normal text, you can click on that and you can choose the style that you want to apply. So I'll go ahead with heading one for now and just click on that. And I'll come down to where I've got my page two. I'll click on that line there. Same thing, I will apply that heading one style there as well. Now, if the formatting on those headings doesn't suit what you're trying to do, Google has a habit of adding massive spaces, for example, around those, or you might want to use a different font, or you might want to bold the font or something like that. You can go ahead and make those adjustments. So let's say I want to make it italicized and bold for my headings and I want to make it a slightly different font and I might want to change the uh, paragraph and line spacing so I might add a space after the paragraph for example like that. What I can then do to make sure because if I come down to my second heading that hasn't updated so what I need to do is to come to where it says heading one click that and then I expand this menu here and I choose update heading one to match. And so now when I come down to my second one, it's applied that style for me. Now, the way that I can use these headings to navigate inside my document is I come across to my show document outline, I click on that, and now I see the navigation menu here so I can easily jump between those pages there. Now, you'll see that on page two, I've got this image. So let's say I want to jump to that. Now I can't apply a heading style to that. So what I can do instead is I can select or put my cursor on the same line as, the, as that image. And I'm going to go ahead, I'll try and put it, okay, I'll select the image there for now. Uh, I can go ahead and I can choose insert and I'm going to come down, I'm going to choose bookmark. Now you'll see that it adds this blue icon here at the start of the line. You can't remove that. Right? That's now part of your document. If you print the document out, it won't show up. But in terms of viewing it online, that's what you're going to see. And you'll see here that it's created the name bookmark. Now next to that is this icon for copying the link. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy that link. I'll come back up now to my first page and I'll go to the next line and I'll change that back to normal text. So we'll put some text in there, we'll highlight that. Now I can use this icon here to create the link. I can use insert link or I can use the keyboard shortcut Command K. And in this box here, I can just paste in the link like that. Alternatively, if you forgot to copy the link, what you can also do is you'll notice down here it says headings and bookmarks. So if I click on that, it will show me the links within the document that I can use. So I could link to my heading in the page again. So if I want to create uh, that sort of linking as well. 
But here's my bookmark here. Now it's got the asterisk because it's indicating that it's an image. Normally it would have some of the text for the start of that line. So we'll click it, go ahead and click that. So now I've got the link that I can click on. I can click on that and that will take me to that point in the document. All right, so let's take a quick look now at creating links to the document from an external source. So you're sharing the link with a colleague or with a student and you want them to jump to a particular page in the document. So it might be uh, you're providing the link to a student to say, hey, here's the page that you need to pay attention to. Or you might be doing a group activity where each group gets their own page. So you want to link the group to their particular page to work on. Straightforward. So if I click next to the text for my heading, Keep an eye on the URL. So you'll notice here, at the very end of the URL, it's added in this little bit of code here. So just, if we keep an eye on, if we come down to heading two and click next to that, you'll see that the code on the end has changed. That's a unique URL to that place in the document. So if I were to go ahead and copy all of that, let's open up a guest window so we know it's not attached to a, a document and we'll paste in that. And you can see that it's jumped directly to page two in the document for me. If I wanted to link directly to a bookmark in the document, then I would find the bookmark, make sure that this pops up here, and then go ahead and click that copy link option. So we'll open up our guest window again, and it's now jumping or linking directly to that point in the document, because you can see in the URL, it's got the bookmark ID right there. So uh, you can take that link and that's the link that you can share with the person that you're working with, whether it be a student or a colleague, making sure, of course, that you have set your sharing permissions correctly so that they can access it. All right, so that's how you can navigate within your document and create links externally to particular points inside your document. So hopefully you can think of some ways that you might be able to use that little hack to help students find exactly what they need in the document rather than the whole, that's me, I can't find it. So there you go. All right, as always, if you have any dramas, come and find me and we'll get you sorted out. Have a good one.